Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Dippio, getting ready to tread into the Citadel in Half-Life 2. Um, last time we were here, uh, we jumped down a hole. Um, I don't think Dog made the hole, but Dog gave us access to it. And uh, Barney wished us farewell, gave us a message for Dr. Breen. Um, now we're going to head into the belly of the beast. Uh, a metaphor I've used before, but uh, it's still apropos. Um, it is a dark cave heading out into who knows where. Our benefactors. Which we never see. Alright. So, if you're wondering why I seem so confident here, it's because I recorded this and the file lost the game audio. So, have to do it again. On the upside, you won't see all the silly mistakes that I made this time, which may be good or bad, depending on your point of view. Such as the time I got squished by the building right here. You almost got to see it again anyway. <laughs> I talk about silly mistakes as I walk directly into making one. Alright, we're gonna traipse our way across this. Take in this divinely unsettling architecture. That makes no sense if you try to really inspect it. Okay, since, I, since you won't see my mistakes, you can hear about them. My idiot behind crawled into this one, even though I watched every one of these things get electrocuted. And uh, obviously knowing anybody that was in there would die. I still hopped in that one first. I can't tell you why. I'm just stupid sometimes. But I'm not stupid this time. Live, die, repeat. All right, going on the world's worst fairground ride. Slow ride, take it easy. Okay. Don't go into the light. Ah, oh, you went in. Now, this building blows my mind. Um, I'm going to assume with all the extra dimensional talk that this is something akin to the TARDIS. Um, because it's, it's a big building from the outside, I grant you. But inside is impossibly big. <laughs> it's, it's as wide as it is tall in some places. And uh, I don't know who designed these elevator systems. Uh, monorail systems, whatever they are, but, um, actually I do know who designed it. Um, I, I, I made this joke last time. Uh, it goes. <laughs> I'm willing to bet that the guys that designed the door room in Monsters, Inc. designed this body traveling system. But um bum Anyway, um, it's just so randomly welded together. It's it's definitely distinctly got a, a weird mechanically alien feel, but it's such an improbable building. Like what what there's a little rafter there that they could only have climbed up to. Like this makes Castlevania castles look really well thought out. <laughs> Be seeing you. Glad I don't have to talk to you. Good luck on your day. Coming up to a glass floor. Units are mobilizing, but where are they going? And like this, here is where they have the ships. 
okay? I'm okay with that. Who's hanging them there? And this place is big enough that you need a train to get through it. Like, it's just a crazy bit of architecture. corridor. Oh, here's where I take the plunge. The nasty plunge. Slowly. Security alert. Unregistered weapons detected. Confiscation Oh, it's futile. It took all my stuff. I'm gonna vaporize again. Let me supercharge this. So, this is Dr. Freeman. This is Dr. Brink. At last. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it's neither a surprise nor, as you will surely agree, very pleasant. Well, I am nothing if not pragmatic. Hey, Dr. Breen, Barney told me to tell you. Uh, you! There was a lot of, you know, stuff crashing at the time. There may have been more to it than that. Pulsing electric pulses on them. Well, Dr. Freeman, under other circumstances, I like to think we might have been able to work together in an atmosphere of mutual trust and respect. Certainly, judging from your brief tenure at Black Mesa while I was its administrator, you showed every promise of becoming a valuable and productive contributor to the scientific process. And yet, I'm not sure what spurred you to it, but there is really no place in this enterprise for a rogue physicist. Yeah, man, you gotta watch out for rogue physicists. They'll just start doing math anywhere. Park benches. Public restroom stalls. Rogue physicists just do not give a crap. Ha <laughs> ha. to blame, of course, my disappointment in Eli Vance and Isaac Kleiner is far greater than my sorrow over your unfortunate choice of career path. In a way, I suppose you could not have done otherwise. Who knows what seeds of iconoclasm they planted when you were young and gullible, but while they certainly share a great part of the responsibility for the recent troubles, it is you alone who have chosen to act in such willful disregard for humanity's future. What a douche. Okay. Oh, can't go through there. Are rough and 
Sambo. charge here, man. was a lucky shot. I hear you, but I can't find you. This is what I call bowling for combat. <laughs> I got a spare on that one. <laughs> where, where, where's the shooting? much with the shooting. for him and I don't like this out for me. that time. friction this elevator system. So why does it take so long to move up? A lot of times I hear the bullets and I think they're just... created chaos in the ranks, uh, confusion among my enemies, um, I, I take credit for this gun. Nope. Nope. 
there. I have laid the foundation for humanity's survival. And not as we have narrowly defined ourselves, but as something greater than we could ever imagine. Something we can now only begin to glimpse. Pictures. Paparazzi not welcome. Look, Gordon. Look at what you are throwing away. Is it worth it? Throwing away little balls of plasma energy. Back on the elevator, huh? Or the escalator? Or the Wonka Vader? Wonka Vader. Up ways, front ways, sideways, down ways. What the crap? Okay, I don't know what that was. to the phone control room. Ooh, I haven't seen those bug things before. Dark now. Oh, yep, yep, going higher. So high that the city is just a badly rendered image below us. Cyclops, what are you doing with my gun? To you, sweater woman. I'll take him from here. Don't struggle. It's no use. Yeah, clearly. You where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. I would kick your butt if my feet weren't shackled right now. Gas giants inhabited by vast meteorological intelligences. Worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. 
What I've seen is also beyond words, Green. Genocide. Indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, and then you deliver yourself? If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Alex. Honey. Dad. Gordon? No. God damn you, Breen, you let her go. That's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combine portal. Go ahead, Bree. If that's the worst you can do, send them euphemism? both through your portal. Oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, the Resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon. How about it, Dr. Freeman? Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't I wish know, to they discuss talk this a in lot, front of your friends. They? I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. Don't struggle, honey. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex, Sura. Oh. Judith? What do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Marsman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. Don't. Hurry. Dad, hang on. You fool! He can barely carry Watch it. Out, he's gonna... No! Dad! Who's okay? Everybody okay? Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about me, honey. There's no time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman, Judith, look after my father. Don't you worry. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. Never. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. My girl. He still has one good leg. I'm gonna check when I get back. I'm not leaving you again, Eli. Gordon, we haven't known each other very long, but... I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you... Well... Thanks for coming after me. No problem. Hey, listen. That's him. Yeah, I'm gonna hit him with a globe. There he is! Just hurry, he's right behind me. Yes, I am. Turn off the thing. Turn it off. Turn it off so I can hit him with a lobe. Oh, shit. Oh! Almost. Damn it! Not again! The gravity gun. 
Yeah. He doesn't have a clue, does he? Not a clue. A clue I about what? Where he's going. What clue are you talking about? A board game clue? Oh my god. Oh, there's a window. This is the Citadel's dark fusion reactor. It powers their tunneling entanglement device. We'll never have a chance like this again. We've got to stop Dr. Breen. Alright, you get me in there. I'll do what I can. Looks like he's turned over control to the other side. You'll have to go into the core and do what you can. Okay. Go into the core and... What do you mean, go into the core? Don't forget to charge up your suit. Do your worst, Gordon. That's terrible advice. Do your best, not worst. Stupid everyone in the apocalypse. Should let them all get eaten by monsters. It's Dr. Freeman. There he is. Dr. Freeman, oh, you really should be out there. At the moment of synapse, as I teleport, this chamber will be bathed in deadly particles that have yet to be named by human science. Perhaps when I have the leisure to do the work myself, I'll name one of them after you. That way you won't be completely forgotten. When the singularity collapses, I will be far away from here, in another universe as a matter of fact. You, on the other hand, will be destroyed in every way it is possible to be destroyed, and even in some which are essentially impossible. Oh, I can get through now. What are their motivations? Do they live? Do they love? Thought you were getting up. Great. Oh no, Green started his ascent. Attention. Hurry, Gordon, before he escapes. That's okay. I know what to do. Picking them up kills them, I've noticed. It doesn't even have to be like anything rough. I could have told you that was pointless, Dr. Freeman. Go, Gordon! Alright, here we go. Are you still with us, Dr. Freeman? Oh, I, you'll Not see how with you are. Longer, I think. We'll see how with you are. Only you had honest with boundless energy for the useful purpose. Go back, Freeman. You have no idea what you're doing. I hope you said your farewells. Here. <laughs> oh, 
I died and I don't know how. Okay. Okay, Dr. Green. I've had it up to here with your shenanigans. made me angry now. You blew me up for no reason. Yes! <laughs> In your face! <laughs> yeah. I did it, Alex! And there's a globe for you! Nope. Nope. Everything froze. Dr. Freeman. Is it really that time again? It's always it that time. You only just arrived. You've done a great deal in a small time span. You've done so well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your services. Ordinarily, I wouldn't contemplate them, but these are extraordinary times. Hmm? <laughs> Rather than offer you the illusion of free choice, I will take the liberty of choosing for you. If oh, aren't you great? and when your time comes round again. I do apologize for it's what Ralph must seem Garman. to you an arbitrary imposition, Dr. Freeman. Evil alternate universe I Ralph trust Garman. It will all make sense to you in the course of Well, I'm really not at liberty to say. In the meantime, this is where I get off. All right. 
We have finished Half-Life 2. My very first Let's Play. It's in the can. Okay. I just want to thank everybody that stuck around and watched all this 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 thing with me. Um, this is a big deal. Um, I got I got full through one full game. I can create a playlist on YouTube, so that's been pretty awesome. So, that being said, let's just take a moment here and we're going to admire the men and women that have put this game together for us. Um, so. Yeah, it's not really that uh, that big of a team when you come to think about it. If you look at the games today that have, you know, just gigantic, gigantic numbers of people working on the on the projects, uh, comparable to like major Hollywood blockbusters, uh, this seems like a, a rather sprightly little crew. Robert Guillaume as Dr. Eli Vance, Robert Culp as Dr. Wallace Breen, Lou Gossett Jr. as Vortigaunt. This is a whole, a whole uh, gamut of 80s ex-superstars. And Miss Ellen McLean, who, if I'm not mistaken, is GLaDOS in Portal. Um, I can't remember the, the character of Overwatch, so I don't really know what's going on there, but... I couldn't, I couldn't pick her out. Our crack legal team. Featuring Mr. Carl Quackenbush. Oh, Carl Quackenbush. That's why you're in the legal team and not a secret agent. My name is Quackenbush. Carl Quackenbush. Look at that, we have as many just like thanks as we do people that actually worked on the whole project. Special thanks to Alienware, ATI Dell, Falcon Northwest, Havoc of the X-Men. And brought to you by Valve. Lamar? Lamar! Blast that little... Where did she get to? A Lamar jump scare. And that's how we go out. Okay, I've said it once before. I'll say it every time. Uh, guys, thank you so much um, if you stayed through and watched this. I really appreciate your time. Um, I, I, I've enjoyed doing this first one, and I'm looking forward. I'm excited about the, the games I get to play in the future. Uh, in case anybody's wondering, I do plan on going through the remainder of Half-Life. There will be an Episode 2-1 uh, playlist, and there will be an Episode 2 playlist. And then one day in the future when I'm 95 and hopefully still able to play games, then I'll get to episode three because um, yeah, that might be when it comes out. But anyway, had a great time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves.